I grabbed one hand with the, him with the, one hand. I grabbed him one hand. I grabbed the arm with the pistol, and he shot me. And he grazed. He hit me in here. The first shot. The bullet didn't slow Harry down. Instead, the older man grabbed for the hit man's gun. By that time, we were tussling. Not that I'm a strong man or a big man, but uh, I, I did all right. I set him back a few steps, and uh, he shot again and missed. And I grabbed him again. I took the gun off him. Well, lucky for him, it was empty. But not knowing it, I went to, hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> At that point, Grande ran. Harry was hospitalized for his wounds, but survived. Two months later, the Scarfo hitmen struck again. I was parked in the car waiting for a party, and uh, I, hear, I heard footsteps. So I looked around, and I see another guy. He's got a mask on. I said, huh, maybe this is it. And as he brought the gun up, I ducked under, under the dashboard. He shot and shot the windows, but uh, nothing happened. He just shattered the windows. And he ran. It was really kind of a game of, it was, you know, when you're a kid and you're playing cops and robbers.